journey media family this is the home of the stubborn minority no this is the plate welcome to the con welcome to the congregation of the mighty the home of the stubborn minority the place where your hustle builds muscle this is giami journey media <laughs> anime what's going on we we back in negotiations what's going on What's going on? You cool? <laughs> Anime cool, so we all cool. Of course, you know this is Tribal Quotes, and this is a Heart of a Summer production. <laughs> Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. <laughs> the has been set down. We're going to get in. We're going to mix it up just a little bit, just a little bit. We just had an interview, and I want to remind you... That brother Ronald Hummins will be at the State House on October 14th from 8 a.m. to October 15th, 8 a.m. He's doing a 24-hour hunger strike. The ways, the awareness of PTSD in our black children. So, family, if you have time, please, please, please step out and support the brother and his efforts. We want to do... A little warming up real quick before we jump right into the folk tales. I'm on right into the quotes. It's the quotes today. So what I want to do right now, family, what I want to do right now. Let me take this charger out because it's fully charged. I don't want to burn out the battery. Um, what I want to do right now is first of all, let y'all know that I want to thank everybody for the support that you have been showing Giami Journey um, and the stuff that we are doing. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make sure that you have an opportunity, if you want to, to be able to reach out and to help support us. So one of the things that we do provide um, for you to do that is, of course, you can always hit up our tip jar. You know what I'm saying? You go to Giami Journey Media Live forward slash tip, or you can let me go on and just boom. Enter that in there for you, right? Let me make sure I enter it in also into our Facebook post as well. We're going to pin it. Okay, I need to pin it to the top of the page, but I'm not going to do that right now. Make sure it's posting all over. All right, boom. Here we go. Paste. All right, cool. So now we got that. We got that out the way so you can feel free to hit up the tip jar. Let us know we're doing a good job here. You know what I'm saying? Let us know that we are giving you the service. Also, family, I want to make sure that you know that the best way to stay in touch with us is to join the Black Signal. Text GNJ to 25456 because you never know when Brother Hot Tim is going to get cut off. I try to keep it clean. I try to keep it above board. You know my language gets off, and then every now and then I go, I go, to, I go off. It's a Pisces thing, it's a Pisces thing. You know what I'm saying? 
it's hard for me to separate worlds. I just had a conversation today, and it's very hard for me to separate worlds. I am who I am. I am who I am, and I try to serve as much as I possibly can, but sometimes that is misconstrued in some ways, and, and like I said, I can't, I you know, I am who I am, and I will be who I be, and I'm going to try to help as many people as I can in any way I can, even when they try not to allow me to help them, all right, but hey, shit happens, and um, we want to say, boom, there we go, going to say that, so we're going to also warm up, so also, I want y'all to know, those that are interested in the Jammy Journey, especially adults, young people could do it as well too, but check out the seven day free e-course, family, now, Another piece that we're going to be able to do as well with Jeremy Journey, since we are a media, a media tribe, because media is the way that, you know, I mean, media is a major piece. So we want to make sure that you understand some of the stuff that we're talking about. So go and check out the free e-course. I want you to check out the free e-course, if at all possible. Check out our free e-course. Oh. All right. Now, also another service that we will be offering to the family, anybody out there that might have an e-course that they want to put together, but I tell them we'll be able to help you eventually, right? I'm going through and trying to get my mastery on it. I'm learning from one of the masters, uh, Brother Philip Shock Matthews. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be able to go and help, and I'm going to make sure some of the young people know how to do it as well. Mm. Also, another thing that we offer, let me go and get the tip jar off of the screen so I ain't got to worry about that no more we also offer the merch the merch my daughter's favorite because eventually they want to get their own stuff and do their own merch and all that so I got to model some things for them you know what I'm saying we all got to have our hustle we're gonna post it up there check out our merch store we got some nice cat in stuff. Some people told me, I ain't know you had this stuff. All I thought, I already got a Daily Toaster shirt. What? Daily Toaster? That's it? You only got the Daily Toaster shirt? And we got the cat in shirt jumping off too? Come on now, family. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know. But people doing what they can, I understand. I understand where I am. I understand when I am. I understand why I am. When I am, where I am, and why I am. So I'm not I'm not confused, family. So I understand, you know, but like I said, if you give a little something, please do so we can make sure we keep all this stuff streaming because all this shit costs money. And the newsletter's coming, I promise. I promise. I wasn't able to do any work on it today. Um, I got home late tonight, and I still got to get the rock and roll call ready. My kids is depending on me. My school is depending on me. My family is depending on me. So we do it all here, right? All right, so let's get to some of the articles that we need to cover today. All right, I got that off. So let's go and take the merch down. We got the uh, the e-course up. I got my chat windows open. So anybody got any questions or any comments, feel free to hit us up. So let's go and check out some of these new messages here. All right, boom, boom, boom. All right, now we also streaming live on Spreaker. We are also up on... Now, family, I suggest that everybody go to gnjmedia.live so that you can go and, and qualify and start competing for some of this merch. Also, get on the Black Signal because that's where a lot of contests is going to happen. And like I've been sending out a lot of texts, so the numbers are going down. But of course... With the support from the family out there, we know that eventually the numbers will start rising. Isn't that right, Simba? Mm-hmm. Simba got to eat. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. All right. So I wanted to share some of the stuff. I posted up some old articles. Because I just, um, all, you know, one of the beautiful things about a lot of this media, especially like with Facebook, you're able to go back, and they took me back to uh, near October 10th, 2014, five years ago. And back then I was in my haku phase. 
Um, and um, I wrote, I was writing haikus. I call them haikus. H A number two K U. You know what I'm saying? And this is a haiku called Stuck with a Small Article. This is probably in my book, Freedom Within Limits. I haven't, I, I haven't done a real release on that yet, but I will be releasing that book real soon. I got a couple books that I, I'm just sitting on the back burner. Cause damn, Freedom Within Limits, Seven Sticks. There's another one. I just, I'm sitting on, and, I, and then of course I'm working on the e-courses because I'm trying to make sure that I get the content out, family. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a media outlet if you don't have content. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and I'm trying to make sure that the family around me know. This is why, for those that are in Giammy Journey, um, um, one of one of the major things for me, one of the major one of the major things for me. That I want to make sure that my family, my 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 immediate tribe does, is to start becoming authors. And nowadays, an author just does does not mean that you sit down and you write a book. Nowadays, you can make a video book, an interactive book, um, an audio interactive book. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 incredible the things you can do. Uh, for example, um. Malcolm Gladwell just did his latest book. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. But he did it in a podcast fashion. So books no longer have to be, it no longer have to be you putting pen to paper or you putting fingers to keys. So what I encourage people in Giammi to do is to put down your ideas, put down your thoughts, however you put them down. And share with us so we can get them out on the uh, on the newsletter. Because um, I'm one I'm one that firmly believes that you know I believe in what the word author means. You know what I'm saying? The root author is the root word of authority. So when you start really writing about something, talking about things, doing things, you become the authority, right? I've been talking about folk tales and myths and legends and 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 proverbs and quotes. You know what I'm saying? It's important. I mean, I've been doing a lot of this stuff. I've been podcasts. I've been doing. I've been honing my skills because it is my responsibility as somebody that's in Giammi. Because in Giammi, we talk about the two two four self help process. What is that, brother? I tell him once again. Let's go back into it. It's in the e course. Well, we talk about the importance of the 224 self-help process. What does this mean? This means that I pledge to myself, to my community, to my tribe, to my family, that I will spend at least two hours a day mastering me, working on me, working on uh, I, something that I master. And I'm spending two hours a day towards the people towards myself, you know what I'm saying, so you can split it up how you want, but at least two hours a day, you got to be doing the work, now part of that important work is of course the private work, but the other work is that you have to get out, because a lot of y'all are out here, uh, Sister Regina, hmm, I never thought about the, the word author that way, very true, yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and, and Sister Regina, like I said, whatever you get up there on that stage and talk about or whatever you're writing about, especially when you get up on that stage and you declare, because the, in order to make it to the TED stage, you are an expert. And once you you already are authority of it, but you're going to become an authority on what you're talking about at a whole nother level. People are going to be looking for advice. You know what I'm saying? And you already know people already probably ask you about this stuff people already want to want to use your services a lot of people want to use it for free and stuff like that but those people who spend time mastering it's one of the things that we have to get out of in our community is going to those people and expecting those services for free of course every now and then you can do the hookup and stuff like that but we have to start the process of exchanging and, and recognizing and respecting those authorities that we have. 
See, we only think about authority as somebody telling us what to do. Authority is somebody who is has mastered stuff up to a certain level that you will go to them to ask about that so that you can have their advice. Not necessarily somebody telling you what to do. Somebody letting you know what your options are. That's a person of authority, right? That's an author, right? Um, and, and like I said, once you get on that stage, you're going to be that. But in Giamma, we talk about the 224 self-help. And this, I have to spend these two hours. And one of the problems that I have with some people is that they spend their time mastering stuff only in their head. So they'll sit around and they'll be reading books about certain subjects, but they won't share the information because they want to get to this this mythic level of information, not knowing that oftentimes you have to sharpen your sword because by sharing your information, you expose self stuff to yourself and to the community that may work or may not work, but then it gives you an opportunity to go back and do some more research and become better at what you're doing. You don't become a good boxer by just hitting a heavy bag. You have to match yourself up against another boxer. You don't become a good football team by just practicing with the same players. No, you got to mix it up with other people. You don't become an intellectual. You don't become a master of speaking. You don't become none of these things in your imagination. You have to get out and attempt it. You got to get out and do it. You got to get out and, and get your losses out the way. All right. So as far as Giamme, like I said, what I try to model and what I try to do is I'm trying to show people, look, I'm invested in this every day. And, you know, part of the issue for me that it spills over. But thank God I got people around me that are able to help me sometimes see where I need to apply certain things. Because for me, it's all the same. You know what I'm saying? Because people can look and say this, this and this. For me, I see a big hole. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to describe to people, but that's how I move through life. But in this society, they make it impossible for you to move through life like that. In many ways, in many cases, it's almost impossible for you to move through life. So you got to put on these different hats. And, 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 and in many cases, it's almost uh, unless you have your self master, you could become schizophrenic trying to fill all these roles. Um, so one, some of the work I wanted to share with y'all is from five years ago, because I've been doing the same thing for years. I've been, I've been doing this. I've been writing. I've been, so uh, this is part of my two, two, four self-help piece. You understand what I'm saying? This is part of, it because I throw it out there. And like I said, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm what I'm doing. Anybody can do what I'm doing. Any, I, I, I believe anybody can do it. It's just a matter of being dedicated to it. I'm dedicated to getting the information out to my people. Don't care how many people listen. Sometimes, because some of y'all, like I just had somebody get on my timeline and say, where can I find giving myself permission? This call is being recorded. I told them, uh, you can find it here, but there's 173 episodes. Uh, Sasha, give me, I mean, Jenny, give me that over there. Somebody just called in. Who this on the line? Who this on the line? This right here, the speaker. Who this on the line? Who this on the line? This Shaka. What's up, brother Shaka? What's going on? You know Man, I'm just constantly you inventing. Know my that's the that's the world that I'm in right now. What's up, everybody over at the at the Hot Tim house? Well, uh, uh, well, they all was well, Gina down here. Shaka said, "What's up, Gina G?" Hi, Uncle Shaka. You hear? Oh, uh, yeah, I heard it. All right, so. Uh, yeah, go and put, you can plug it in there. All right, so um, so what I was going to share was a couple of our old articles so, so that I can let you know that, uh, you know, shit, I've been grinding at this for a very long time. Very, very long time. This post right here. How long? Shit, I don't know. I don't even, I don't even, I, I don't even, I don't even keep trying. Oh, come on, man. Well, I... Well, I, I saw you to Ed McMahon. You got a Johnny Carson it. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, how long? Uh, I don't know. I, I get. I, I'm slow today, man. I'm tired. I still. I still got to. I still got to come up with this rock and roll call. Ah, but this water, so good. All right. But I did a haiku 
for a period of time, I was going through um, haikus. It's cool, Jenna. Um, I was going through my haiku phase. Um, and so I would also do an article, and I, and, and I did enough of these where I, I got a book off of this. Um, go ahead. So here's the haiku. You can check it out. It's on Giami Journey. Um, I'm stuck where I am. This, this one is called Stuck. And the article is called Stuck is Real Short. I'm stuck where I am. Can't move for fear is present. Each thought torments me. And here's the short article. Have you ever been stuck in life? If your answer is yes, then I would like to welcome you to this journey. Getting stuck is part of our struggle. Our constant foe on this path is fear. Fear strikes at us in many different forms. What we need to develop is the skill to be able to see beneath the mass. When we are able to identify fear, we can move, we can more easily deal with our issues. Fear has the ability to freeze in place or to freeze us in place. Our thoughts seem to stop flowing and it may feel like we are in the midst of torture. To get past this, we have to push through the illusion that usually was created by the fear. Short article, short article, short article. Um, you know, let me go on. I got a got we got a couple more news pieces before we get into it. So we just did stuck. Let's move on. Here's another one. Belief short circuits. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't get mad at Brother High Tim. Belief short circuits. So so here we go. Let me get this one off so I can stop burning up that. That uh, space where we at? Uh huh. All right, this one is called Belief Short Circuits. This is an article. I thought it had a haiku. This one don't have a haiku. Just think about it. Belief is, belief is a powerful thing, it is so powerful that it can short circuit the mind. Belief overrides our logic, reason, and everything else dealing with the mind. Belief can turn the most intelligent and educated person into a babbling fool. If you don't believe me, just bring a discussion that hits people in their heart and watch the arguments you get. And if you are able to escape with your life, you will understand what I mean. I'm not writing this to get you to look at others' beliefs but to challenge you to look at your own beliefs. Take a good look at your beliefs and see if they fit into reality. Most importantly, look at your beliefs about yourself and your abilities. Are you living your life the way you should and want to live your life? Or are you living your life in accordance with some of your false beliefs about yourself? Ask yourself key questions and challenge what you believe about who you are. The world you live in, about your God and etc. When you ask yourself some key questions, you begin to understand that you are or may be living your life according to some outdated and unproven beliefs. Beliefs that were given to you by those who came before you. These beliefs will have to be battled with to remove them from your psyche. The sooner you get started, the better for you. Enough said. So those are two of the articles. That is at GiamiJourney.com. Once again, that's at GiamiJourney.com. Um, every now and then, I still blog. We post up the newsletter on that site as well. So I'll be sending it out. So sometimes take some time and go through there because we got, I got tons and tons and tons of stuff. When, I, when I'm talking about working towards mastery family, I am doing it. You know, like I said, but, you know, and then also remember mastery doesn't mean perfect. So I don't have everything in my life working the way that it should be. And I, I, I'm kind of glad that it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because I get to be human. But Brother Shaka, you joined us on the show today. Everybody give him a round of applause because we haven't heard him for <laughs> What 
What's going on with you, my brother? What's going on before we get into these folk? I mean, before we get into these quotes, what's going on? Hello. Well, my brother. Yes, yes. I actually, uh, I actually brought y'all up in the conversation uh, with Cleveland Foundation the other day because uh, they got a very unique grant available to uh, Cleveland uh, arts organizations, cultural arts organizations, on black folks. <clears throat> they realized that uh, even though we make up 40%, uh, we only get like 4% wow. of the philanthropic dollars out there. So, I mean, you went out there and did that research, huh? Bust them in the head with it. Well, man. I... Got to bust them in the head with it. Wow. Yeah, so it's very interesting. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work it. Where the symbiotic cipher is going to bring our uh, our Cleveland and Columbus artists into collaboration, first cooperation and then collaboration, um, because it's it's a big it's a big thing to be had right now. Um, you know where Cleveland is now considered the Hollywood of the East Coast. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for you know like netflix and and hulu um all kind of network stuff but that's why uh life matters entertainment is is uh set up strategically to be a placement and licensing organization for film and tv and, and um other types of placements you know right right so yeah but yeah so in cleveland there is a uh, there is a uh a grant and a fellowship available through Cleveland Foundation whereby um, it has to all be African-American facilitated. So a lot of times when we as individuals um, use fiscal advisors or fiscal sponsors um, of those organizations kind of uh, you know, maintain their own agenda within those dollars and kind of confine, you know. Uh, so it, it, it's it's ultimately made up so that we have um, something that is independent, something that, um, you know, allows the, um, the artist facilitator or teacher to have 100% discretion, artistic discretion on, uh, on their works. So... It's um yeah, it's a lot going on right now. Actually. Right. All right. Sounds good too. Um and, and it's working in your yeah. favor. So that's good. So um so tonight we got three quotes that we gotta go on through, family. We're gonna go through, we're gonna chop it up, we're gonna break them down, flip them, we're gonna see what we can get out of them. We're gonna extract as much wisdom out of them as we can. And hopefully you'll join the conversation because the lines are open at 614-556-4535. Once again, that number is 614-556-4535. I want to apologize about the interview that I had on Kooji Chak Lee at night. Um, the message didn't go out till afterwards. And I, and I got a call today where a brother was... He thought it was live because it went on and said we live now. And he didn't get it till after the show was off. So he trying to call in and stuff like that. So I want to apologize for that. They were doing some work on the system. At least that's what they told me. Gotta, I guess I got to take what they say. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. So we are on day 85. We're coming out of Giami Journey Workbook, Tribal Quotes. I'm compiled by myself. The Proverbs of the day on day 85 is there is nothing more tragic than to find an individual bogged down in the length of life and devoid of breath. That breath is spelled B-R-E-A-D-T-H. Number two, not engaging in ignorance is wisdom. That's from the Bodhidharma. And the last one is, do not despise a gift, no matter how small it is. That's from Lesotho. Lesotho. 
All right, brother uh, uh, Shaka, you are up. So which one you want to tackle first, my friend? Which which one we gonna be doing some wisdom? Oh, that is what I forgot to put. Which one we gonna be doing some wisdom mining on today, my friend? Can you repeat the first one? The first one states: There's nothing more tragic than to find an individual bogged down in the length of life, but devoid of breath. That's Martin Luther said, King. And you still. It's breath. You still B- breathe how? It's B R E B R E A D T H. Looking it up right now. Breath. I understand it. You bred us. You bred us, your brethren. <laughs> we work together. And you bred us. At the end them of up. the day. You bred them up? Yeah. The distance or measurement from side to side of something width is basically the width. <laughs> the thickness. Oh, uh oh, he got a comedy show going on over there. Who was that? <laughs> oh. Uh Bro, Diamond yeah. and a okay. friend. Okay. So we got we got somebody else calling in. Who else on the line? Who else on the line? Uh-oh. I bet I it's Sister T. Andra. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Doing all right. How are y'all? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so I'm blessed. So we got Shaka picking the. Uh, that's Shaka. Yep, that's Shaka. Can you hear him clearly, or is it echoing? Yes, I can hear. I'm gonna mute y'all because I'm on the uh, road, but I'm. Gonna... All right, well, Chaka just hung up. You must have scared him, girl. Well, anyway. Oh, uh-huh, man. And he ain't picked it, so you got to pick which quote we're going to do. So let me read them for you again, unless you heard them. Have you heard them? I haven't heard them. All right. We on day 85. He, it says, the first one is, there's nothing more tragic than, a, than to find an individual bogged down in the length of life. Devoid of breath. That's Martin Luther King Jr. Not engaging in ignorance is wisdom. That's the Bodhidharma. And the last one is do not despise a gift no matter how small it's how small it is. That's from Lesotho. Lesotho. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'm between one and three right now. All right. Well, come on now. Come on, flip a coin. Somebody help her I'm out. Gonna go with three. She's going to go with three. We're going to go with do not despise a gift no matter how small it is. Give it up for Tianja for making a tough decision. <laughs> the bell class is in session you in the back sit down got my spiritual audience they be tripping up back here sit down all right so you want me to start or you want to start um i can start this was a question i i picked them because i think that i might Despise is a strong word. Yeah. But um, I get people who, I don't like materialistic things. I like when people buy things just to buy things, like for occasions, like birthdays and holidays. I don't feel like I need to buy things unnecessarily. Um, but, you know, it's like the fact. That matters or the thought that counts, but then I wonder if it's like a genuine thought or if it's just our society that forces materialism. Mm. So that was the thought that I had with it, and I I, I want to learn and listen from from you and others about how how they navigate that. Right now, it might just be me and you tonight. I don't know because Shaka hung up and I don't know what's going on. I sent out the black signal, but it's cool. Because, you know, um, sometimes 
the you it's not it's not the amount of people it's the beauty of the souls that's in the room so we got another call I, who, who who this online uh this brother jehudi what's up bro how you doing Hey, big boy. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I got a good number, man. Are we legal right now? <laughs> we legal. You you right on time. So <laughs> right on, right on. We are doing tribal quotes tonight, and we're we're doing some wisdom mining. And Sister Tiandra has picked um the third number pro- three, right? Right. She picked number three. So you heard it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So go ahead, Miss Tiandra. Go on, go on, go on, throw the throw the ball out and let's go and have this discussion. Let's let's get dirty out right now. We about to do some mining, so let's go. Oh, she did it already. It's my turn. Yeah, I said my piece. You yeah, said her I'm piece. I'm sorry. You want to go to Hootie or you want me to hit it? What's going on? Well, uh, I, I I believe I believe that I understand that that I understand. Um, the the concept of not was it not despising a gift? Mm-hmm. Um, because there are first of all so many gifts that life presents to us, Ooh. but we also we also have to be careful because we really don't know the magnitude of any gift at first. You know what what might seem so small and um, unimportant to us in time might grow to be something huge in our life and in our existence. But we didn't know it when we first got it. So you have to be thankful. You know, thank you is one of the easiest words to say, especially if you can say it sincerely. So whatever the gift is, thank you. Thank you. You know, and then you move from there and let it manifest itself as it should. So um, in the last few weeks, we had a story called The Lion and the Mouse. And usually this one is about whether uh, somehow this little small thing does something small right. for right. something big. But then um, the, the, the big thing needs some help from this small thing. And the small thing is exactly what the big thing needs. So like you said, we never know what power somebody's gift could be. I also think about um, uh, 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 um, um, I can't think of the term, but it's it's a strategy used in storytelling where an individual would do a bunch of useless things or give a bunch of what appears to be useless things to a hero and the hero would start the journey and and he would find out the uses of these useless things on a journey. We never know the power of any gift, especially when somebody's giving us something from our heart. In in, right. in um, ancient Kemet, one of the greatest gifts that you could give someone during a time was a small statuette of my art. Some pharaohs reported that uh-huh. this was more valuable to them than a pile of gold. You know what I'm saying? And right, it's right. and it's like um when we receive something, we are doing an exchange because it's like how can I put it? I was I was just speaking with um about cause sister Regina, she made a comment about um the author piece. And one of the things that we have in our community is that one, we have we since we on this day, since we on the day of reciprocity, because on Ujama reciprocity is that we don't have a, a a process of reciprocity going on. So when somebody gives something to you, there's an exchange. They give you something. You need to give them something back if it's nothing but appreciation. And and one of the things that Tiandra said, and then I heard you say as well, they use a very strong word in here. Despise. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's like, do not despise a gift no matter how small it is. And what's crazy is we could see it on some of our children's faces 
when you give them something that they didn't ask you for, like during the, the holiday seasons. I, I done seen I, I done seen looks from little kids when they get gifts from certain people, and I remember doing it myself. You know, you know, you had that one person that would always give you the socks or something, and you be like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a book, yeah, give yeah, book. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and, baby and that, be like, ooh, baby be like, ooh, uh, right. uh. Uh, ooh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, you know what I'm saying, that the despise. And then Tiandra brought up another point. We have to realize that we are living in a material-based society. That materialism yes, is being thrust upon us in such a fashion that sometimes we lose who we are in looking for the wrong type of gifts from people. Like I and I don't okay. know, I okay. might I might be alone in this. Have do when I came up, I had several people that wasn't really friends, but I know of their story because it was so tragic oh. because it was so tragic because they was the type of individuals that their families would spoil them. And would give them all okay. types of material things. And and then the saddest part of the story, and I've seen this at least three times in my life, where the individual's life would end because of the large material gift that they received that they wasn't really ready for. Mm. And we never know how okay. these small gifts are preparing us for something greater. You understand what I'm saying? Because it could be the small gift yes, sir. that might trigger something within you that may be able to, once again, get you over something that you never expected to happen. That book that that woman gave or that man gave you every year or, you know what I'm saying, came in handy. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that handmade card or that handmade letter by your child or somebody that looks up to you, you find it right at the, at the, at the, yeah. at the, at the moment you need it the most. You know what I'm saying? At, in your journey, at the moment, the moment in your journey that it becomes pertinent, all right. of a sudden you bump into it. Yeah. Um, you know, I was raised in a house that we were taught it's better to give than to receive. And my brothers and I used to look at my mother and father and be like, yeah, okay, you go ahead and give, <laughs> and I'll receive. You know, that's, that's the better part. But as I got older and as a, an adult now, I recognize the benefit to myself when I'm able to give a gift, no matter how big, no matter how small. I can't tell you how many times children who have now become adults have come back to me to say thank you for that book that I gave them right. as a youngster growing up. Because reading reading is very, very important to me. Y'all remember the commercial, reading is fundamental, riff, mm -hmm. reading right. is fundamental? Right. If a child can't read, then as an adult, they can't survive. So um, I give simple books, man, because I love to read. And I've had children give me that look like, oh, this dude here, how'd he even get in the house? <laughs> but then, and years later, they end up back at that book, and they end up reading that book, and they end up saying to me at a different at a different time, you know, I now appreciate the wisdom in giving me a book because of what it's done for me. So we have to understand that, you know, in giving gifts, you can't really like like Saint said, you can't really despise a gift that you get because all gifts are just that, and we have to respect them and honor them, grow with them, grow with them, or allow them to grow upon us. Yes, sir. And allow uh -huh. them to grow up on us. I get that a little bit. I um, I don't, I am fully appreciative of anything that is given. But do you what happens when you're in a situation where somebody? Is, Mortgage lender. I've got great news. Mortgage interest rates. Oh, is that loser? No, we are. So somebody I'm going to lock that low rate even before you find. Go ahead. I'm just trying to. 
Go get ahead. a better volume on the, on the show. Go ahead. Um, so I have a couple of situations. I have uh, somebody will give me money, right? Uh huh. Okay. But then will come back around and say, "Hey, you know that money that I gave you?" Or it's like an unspoken, like I have you you cornered. Cornered that give materialistic things that just buy things. Like those situations where it's like somebody's giving you something, but they don't necessarily have it to give, and it comes back around, and it's like, well, I gave you something before, so can you stop me this? Or uh, you know, what I mean? Look, I'm looking for this much, this much money. Like I have somebody who gives me money, and then but I never know when. Um, so I just kind of hold it for them because I never know when they're going to come need. back. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna need like two thousand dollars all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, can I? And so, like, it's dire that I need this, but it's it's just really interesting. Like, that's the relationship with giving. That uh-huh. is, like, I don't despise it, but it's like it's toxic. Now, and I hate like that word has become overused. But right, but that is yeah. that is toxic. <laughs> um, I was looking for, I uh, and. And I'm I'm hoping one of my children stole it because it will come in handy for them. But I'm looking for my book, African (laughs) Openings to the Tree of Life, because in there, there is a quote that says, learn to distinguish between a gift and a bribe. Yeah, yeah. We Um, often um, have people... we, We often have people who... Because a gift is... Because when they give it to you, it's, there's a separation in the giving. So it's almost like, boom, yeah. I'm giving, is yours, gone, boom. I, duh, you know what I'm saying? But when somebody give and you, are, you already know the type of relationship, that is a toxic piece because, you know, because you have to be, you, you, you actually might need to start asking, is this a gift or a bribe? Are you going to need something? Are you give, truly giving this to me? Because yeah. to set yeah. the perimeters... Yeah. Because yep. because that right there, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I and and you going into politics, so we gotta we got I'm gonna have to start watching some of the people giving you gifts. I mean ah DeAndre, you And you have to you have to be aware of that because um oftentimes people are giving you things with a secondary agenda to it. Um because the giving of a gift it actually is a situation of you are giving this to this other person, so you should, at that point, sever your relationship with whatever the gift was, okay? Right. Um, if, if if I give you a pair of socks, I can't come back weeks or months later talking about that pair of socks is going to uh, match this outfit I'm getting ready to wear tomorrow. Let me get them socks back. You know, I've got to give you those socks and then enjoy seeing you in those socks. And for people who give you things and then <laughs> you basically know that they're going to come around some kind of way talking about, your, well, you you remember when I did this for you. You remember when I did that for you. That's not a genuine gift. That's not giving. a gift. They never that's let it go. Setting up, that, that's setting up a comeback. You know, I gave you $10, what, 22 years ago. Now I need $15. So give me, let me give $15. No, nah, that wasn't a gift then. That was just you setting me up right. for the um, second for the woo. second step of okie doke. Right. For the woo. Yeah. Okay. Set you up for the woo. And it's, you know, and that, yeah, that, man. that's very dangerous. So, you know, and it's like, so, so Tiandra brings up a point where it's like, sometime we might have to turn on the despise because it's not really a gift. I, that's, or be yeah. like, or be great, gracious in being able to turn it down. Yeah, yeah, be right. able to. You know, and that's that would be a hell of a piece to to say thank you, but no thank you to a gift or what a person is 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 presenting as a gift. But if you know there's some toxicity to it, excuse me, always looking to um, uh, guard ourselves from continued injury, then sometimes you have to say, well, you know, thanks, thanks, but no thanks. You know the. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think this is going to work out well for me. Right. Right. You're going to 
And you know, like the Godfather give, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> give you this for one day. No. I may come and Hell ask you no. for a favor. But that's not but hold on. That's honest. You understand what I'm saying? That yeah. that okay. that is establishing a yeah. relationship, but what Tiandra's talking about is the ones that's coming back and she knows that they're coming back from experience. So it's almost like we gotta guard ourselves from that because that that yeah. that energy kind of could drain us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we we yeah, have sure. we sure. have political relationships like that as black people. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all, I always yeah. bring it. I always find a way to squeeze us in there as a group. We have these type of relationships <laughs> on a larger level, and we have to be very, very careful of them because people want to give us stuff, but we know that there's some type of twist to it, and we have to be. You know what I'm saying? We have to be astute enough. To remind them when they try to bring up shit from the past, hold on, homie. That was a gift. Yeah. Yeah. You were supposed to have seven, but I'm seeing now how you do. So, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about us at the pole no more. You know, because we already we already hey, see how you want to Hey, hi, Tim. Go ahead. Hey, hi, Tim. Does that, does that bring us back to the conversation we just had a couple of hours ago about being aware of the fact that these people are saying that they're helping us? Right. But knowing that in time... In, in time, the scorpion DNA is going, is going to flip on us. Right. No, no, no. The scorpion's not going to flip on us. What flips on us is our fucked up perception of what we thought was. See, because Aesop tell us these stories so that we can have the real reality. To, to be practice of, a practices of my op, one of the major tenets that I always come back to is being able to distinguish the real from the unreal. So if I'm dealing with a scorpion, I know what a scorpion does. The scorpion, what, what's going to do? Yeah, exactly. what's going to do? Uh -huh. So am yeah, I supposed yeah. to get mad at the scorpion because he stung me? If I know you're a scorpion, I am going to. I need to treat you as such. The story that we right. were supposed to Very do good. yesterday was um um the boy and the, uh, the scorpion um. The boy hunting locusts. A boy was hunting for locusts. He had caught a, a goodly number. When he saw a scorpion mistaking him for a locust, reached out his hand to take him. The scorpion, showing his sting, said, If you had but touched me, my friend, you have lost me and all of your locusts. A scorpion is always going to be a scorpion. A snake is going to be a snake. A gorilla gonna be a gorilla, a lion gonna be a lion. You know what I'm saying? And we as human beings, yeah. we are able to play roles. They don't necessarily play roles. You understand? So we have to be able to define yeah. the role that an individual is coming. Is this genuine or is this a mask? And I know sometimes that's hard for us to tell, right? But we still have right. to be always prevalent. But then sometime in other and this is why it's important to really observe those those in your circle, those that are family, so that you know how to deal with them, when to deal with them. Because people reveal themselves in dealings with others. If you ignore how they deal with somebody yeah. else, like they would never yeah. do that to me, you're setting yourself up yeah. for a big for for a big sad for a wreck. Oh my God! For a wreck, and yeah. I've been guilty of that. I, yeah. I've been guilty of that. Oh, yeah. they wouldn't do that to me. Shit. We all have. We all have been guilty of that. Yeah, we all have been guilty of that. You know, when you when you get bit by that, then you sit, sit back and say, "Damn, I, I knew saw them do that to so and so two right. years ago, right? Or uh, or something like that." You right. know, and that's that's a part of consciousness. If you think about it, that's a part of consciousness because what consciousness says is to be aware of everything going on around you within your circle and and within your world because um what is it once learned twice burned or you get me once is is um it's your fault you get me twice is my fault it's my fault you know if if i'm not if i'm not being aware of what's going on and see that i'm going down that same slippery slope either that i went down before or that I've seen you take others down before. Right. If I'm not aware that if I'm, I'm if I'm not conscious enough of what's going on to see that, then in in some ways I deserve to get burned. I deserve that scorpion bite. Yeah, I mean we delude ourselves. So, uh, yes, sir, uh, Mr. Jehudi, 
It's your turn. We got one or number two left. We got enough time to spend a couple of minutes on one because I, I try to keep keep the show to an hour. We are at 57 minutes and 18 seconds. Okay. We, Give me number two, man. Give me number two. Not engaging. Read it again out loud so I can make sure, but that's, what I, that's the one I wanted when I called. Not engaging in ignorance is wisdom. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Am I supposed to comment at this point? You can if you want. Same with this Tiana. Okay. N not engaging in ignorance. Um, when you know it's ignorant, when you see that it's ignorant, um, when it feels like it's ignorant, feels like something just ain't right here, that is wisdom speaking to you. And you have to learn to to listen to and move on your inner on your, on your inner voice, because um, ignorance is a waste of time. It's a waste of energy, and it's dangerous. So if you keep on putting yourself into those situations and allowing yourself to get bit in those situations, then first of all, you're going to remain in ignorance. You're going to remain in asphet, but you also are not growing and understanding the wisdom that is growing within you. Mm. You got something for that one, Sister Tiandra? She might be driving, so she's just listening in. Yeah, uh, I am. Yeah, she just Go ahead. Uh, this is my heart is that it's just like I don't want to argue with fools or you don't right. match your purse amongst one. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Uh, on one end of it, but two, it's like, we don't want to say that anybody, uh, that I'm above anybody else. So that's like, that's not, that's not a place that I, I typically see myself at at all. I always am in an opportunity to learn from whoever I'm around. But what I want to do, so if, if I engage in conversation or discussion where, uh, where it's on the verge of ignorance or ignorance is, um, at play, I think I can't really do anything to control anybody around me, but I can control I can control myself and my emotions. So it's like not allowing myself to be affected by something that I deem as ignorant. Well, you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to let myself get angry or upset or take right. it back by something <laughs> that I feel like my understanding surpassing. Uh-huh. I agree. So. I agree. Now, this is this the angle I'm going to hit it from. So, oftentimes, because, like, I, I think sometimes I like getting into these words. It says, not engaging in ignorance. And the root word of ignorance is ignore. And this brings us right back to the last one we had. Engaging in ignorance, right, is ignoring in some cases, because I, I think sometimes we mix ignorance up with someone that don't know. See, me interacting with someone who don't know, they may be sparked to have a conversation and we could discuss and it might get heated in the discussion because they're seeking understanding. But ignorance that the the worst type of the worst type is those that know but they ignore mm -hmm. what's real. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? So not engaging in ignoring reality, not engaging in and um, not in, engaging in fantasies that we are erecting to shield us from what's real out here. I'm thinking, because that's what I'm thinking about when they talk about ignorance in this way. Because a lot of us get caught up in it. Like, just like we was talking about, somebody who brings a gift that we know has strings attached. But we want to ignore how we've seen them do the last five people. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we, okay, that, right, right, we, yep. By not engaging in ignorance is wisdom. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. It's like, I'm not going to engage in that. Yes. 
You know what I'm saying? Some of us, yeah. like, we go with some of our family at these, because uh, I'm guilty of this, when we have some of these family gatherings and sometimes they want to have a political or a religious discussion. You know <laughs> I done got to the point now where I'm just like, uh, nah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like... Yeah, let me let me go to the bathroom. Right. Let me go to the bathroom. Right. Because it's like, right yeah. now, because you want to ask me questions or you want to do this, but you're going to ignore what I'm saying. You gonna, you ignore yeah. the reality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because yeah. I am yep. where I am, I may do the same thing. Because like I said, we no one has the absolute... Uns, I mean, it's just... just it's, it's, it's universe certified truth. You can't, I mean, because a lot of stuff that we be arguing about, you can't prove that shit. Yeah, 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 for but real. We all guilty of For real. We all yeah. get these beliefs and yeah. we ignore other stuff that's going on around it. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I mean, because even with some of the myths, because people be like, brother, I can't. You sitting up here, you, you talk about these folk tales like they're real. I'll be like, well, I have experienced a lot of these folk tales. You know, it's about as real. Yeah. For You know, it's about as real as some of the other myths that you read. And when I go into what I what I consider myths, oh, it gets hot. Because they ignore, <laughs> every, they ignore everything yeah. I say. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to have, I, I had one person, I, this was years ago, um, it was a a, a, a a ritual that I was going to participate with, but I decided not to deal with it because when I approached the, at that point in time, the head of the group or the head of the person putting together, he was like, man, if you're going to come with some of that Jesus stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, shit, there's good lessons in that Jesus stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, I mean, I, you, you know, so, but then, and, but then I asked the question, I said, well, you know, why? Because Jesus didn't exist. I said, so you honestly believe that a man with a hawk head was walking around on this earth too? The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Damn, I <my> Tim. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wisdom is and wisdom. That's true. And that's true. I mean, that's a very, very, very good point. And... As you make that point and tell that story, that also steps all the way back around to what you were saying a minute ago, is how people will will argue a point knowing that their argument has a certain amount of shakiness to, uh, in terms of its basis for what they're trying to say. But they'll argue that point because they think it makes their point in a way that is valid. So, like you said, um, he wants to come against you... Um, Against uh, stories of right. Jesus or stories, or stories used from, in, in talking about right. Jesus' life. Not just then Jesus. he wants to stand on what he thinks is uh, yeah. a good basis dealing with some, um, and what I think I'm hearing is um, the deities, the African deities. Here, right, here, um, but, but, you, but, right. but you're trying to tell me that, you know, you believe that this is how this, is how this man or this energy Existed. Is walk around with a hawk on his head. Right. You know. So, so which one, bro? Which one? Which, which one? one is a parable? Are we gonna be? Are we gonna be all, is, right? You know. Are we gonna be all the way real? You know what I'm saying? I yeah, mean, is that yeah. is that where we heading? Because I'm. You know. Yeah. In that case, let's dispel our myths. Because if you wanna, if you wanna this one belief. You know what I'm saying? Because as they yeah. say, as 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 I as I was taught, one man's one man religion is another man's myth. I have just yeah. learned how to respect all of them and. I I have I have dedicated my life to being able to pull wisdom out of wherever I can find it. You know what I'm saying? I love the stories. Uh huh. But they all stories to me. But they all teach me yeah. something that is vital to my very existence. You understand what I'm saying? And it, and for me, ignorance at that time would be for me the the ultimate ignorance is to listen to some of the lessons that are being taught through these. Through, 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 um, through Christianity and just totally ignore them because I'm mad at Jesus. I'm mad at the <laughs> okay. Bible. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Or, or not to do or to okay. do the same thing with the comedic word or do the same thing with the Ubu. If it's a lesson in there, family, you know what I'm saying? Get the Catch lesson. The lesson. Catch the lesson. Yeah. We, we argue yeah, a lot right, of times right. 
A lot of times we argue about rather than the the how and the why, we are, we argue about the where and the when. And 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 the issue behind the where and the when is that they are important to you being conscious, but they not they are not important to you getting wisdom. The where and when don't wisdom could be anywhere. Wisdom come from any time. So the where and when is what you arguing about does not matter. Have you ever seen people that just would just okay. argue about historical time periods? That's not gonna free us. You know, you know right, the time right, or something. Right. That, that's not gonna free us. You know how old something is right. or where something was from. That's, I mean, that that might impress other people, but dog, I'm in a position where I got, I got a tribe to feed. I ain't got time to be sitting around here arguing with you or listening to you talking about dates and times and shit. What? What is? I don't need to <laughs> know. Right. I don't need to know when the pyramids were built. I need to know how. Because that technology can okay. be used today to produce something for our people now. The why. Now, if, right, right. If I could get right. the why, okay. maybe I can translate that why from our ancient times to now so that our people can use it. The where and yes, sir. the where and the when? Does it really matter? Right, right. I mean, that's my opinion right right now. I'll probably get smashed in the head by the time I get home or something like that. But family, y'all coming in all late. The number is six one four five five six four five three five. Go ahead, brother. You got you was you were saying something. Go ahead, Joey. Oh no, no, man. I was um, I was agreeing with you in terms of the um of your point about getting the knowledge, you know, allowing yourself to hear and um, grow with the knowledge because, um, you know, tell you the truth, I have problems with Jesus Christ and the Bible. But um, I've spent enough time in my life reading the Bible, reading Jesus Christ's story, that I know there are some parts to that document that still to this day um, enlighten me or benefit me, they grow me. So um, I really, I really don't argue those points. And uh, Sister T- Tiana, Tiandra, um, I think is her name on the other, on other end. Mm-hmm. She was saying something earlier about. Um, so for her, it's, it's it's not about trying to change somebody else's ignorance. You know that she. Right. I think what she was saying was that she um, she can only. She can only make decisions in her own life. She can't. She can't tell other people what to do, how to do, when to do, and that's that's really where I see it. Is um, we can get bogged down and caught up in a whole lot of arguing and pontificating on things that really have no measure of um, uh, reality for us. But people wanna they wanna argue their point because they wanna sound good. You know, they wanna sound like they real smart, and we need to come back around to to. Um, to learning, to teaching, right. and to growing. Right, picking you know, up. So picking up. Those are basics to me. Let's let's learn something. Right. Let's teach something. Let's grow together. You know, I I ain't trying to argue with you because I said it was um back in 15 BC. Right. right. And you trying to tell me no, it was 16. It was 16 and a half BC. Okay, right. we're well, still man. <laughs> we still cool. But the work was done. Right. So let's 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 work with the work. You let's, know, let's look at the work. Of it, you know? Let's look at the how yeah, all right. and the why of the work. And, and it's, it's like, so yes. I, I would kind of take this one and say, not engaging in ignoring is wisdom. That's a good twist, bro. That's a, that's a good catch, you know, to bring ignore out of that and not engaging in ignoring situations and 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 knowledge and people ignoring right knowledge and and the use of it the sharing of it the spreading of it yeah and we are we are as a race of people living in america we spend a lot of time ignoring wisdom and information you know we spend a lot of time just just trying to be out there making that that next point so that, exactly. once again so that we sound good so, trying to sound smart 
Hey, and bro, I'm guilty hey, bro, of it. Hey, bro. Never I'm mind, man. Never mind. Thank you. Thank you. But I, never mind. I'm yeah. definitely right. guilty of it. But family, we have approached 1020. We have been on here 72 minutes and 16 seconds. I want to thank everybody. 72 minutes. 72 minutes and 16 seconds. I got it. I got it down to a science. But family, I want to thank you for joining <laughs> us. And 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 we will be. I will be seeing you in the morning because I'm gonna have to step a little bit later. I got to get some stuff ready for uh, uh, for my babies tomorrow. So um, I want to make sure that you know. Before you, you are, go, can I say this? Go ahead. Thank you. This is my first time in. Um, and I've enjoyed the conversation. Uh, I'm always spinning this time of night. So when I when the text comes up, I'm usually in the middle of something that I don't want to step away from because I, I need to keep that energy rolling. I understand. My first time in, y'all. I appreciate it. And I will I will continue to do what I can to get in uh, on these discussions. Cool. Thank you. So here we go, family. I want to welcome you to the Congregation of the Mighty, the home of the stubborn minority. Am I looking stubborn right now? The place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. <laughs> so I'm using the heart of a simple production. And of course, this has been Tribal Quotes. <laughs> day 85, day 85. We got five more days. Then we got to start all over. And I think we're going to go into the African openings to the Tree of Life. Last but not least, family, I want to make sure you know that we strive, strive, strive. To blow up your old paradigm. And I pray. Hey, well, everybody. I pray that your night will be, be as cool. beautiful as you are. All right? Peace. Yes, sir. Right on. Thanks, y'all. Peace. Thank you. Have a good night. You too.